Let me know when I'm ready here. Okay. Jason Nina, I teach the front ensemble with the cadets. I'm gonna show you a couple easy things to do when you're teaching Stevens a grip. We're gonna take a look here at the inside mallet first. One of the things we wanna do is get a good balance point here. Put it on the first bend of our index finger, kind of in the fleshy part of our palm here, just below our thumb. Put our thumb on top here. If you notice here, when I push hard, the thumb turns white. Definitely not good, it's a little bit too much pressure. The thumb is just there to keep the mallet from bouncing up on you. The thumb is pretty much on top. Some people will have it slightly just to the side, but it's still at the top end of the mallet. The middle finger here, does one more thing, it kind of sets back there in a, like a Spider-Man position, holding the mallet, locked into place in the back. Again, not a lot of pressure, just used for a little extra support. Let's go to the outside mallet here. This one's gonna put a nice balance to where our inside mallet is. The back end of the stick is gonna be as close to the pinky as we can and at the base of that finger. We're just gonna wrap around our, our, our ring finger and our pinky around it, and that kind of holds it into place. Anytime we use the inner mallet, you need to make sure this outside mallet is completely still, okay? It is the rotation point. Put down the mallets in the left hand. Take one hand and hold the end of the mallet on your outside, okay? Which is your four mallet. Hold that with one finger, make sure it's steady, and just turn your wrist a couple times and see what that feels like. Your pivot point is the outside of your hand where that mallet four is. I usually have students set it on the keys in a very relaxed position so that we get the slight angle down from our inside mallet and more or less parallel to the keys with the outside mallet. Oftentimes students, when they hold the script, will have an awkward turn where one mallet's higher than the other or sometimes the inside mallet higher than the outside. We do want to have a pretty good grab on those outside fingers. That's a good starting point for that forward mallet technique, the Stevens grip. And the next steps would be to start working on changing some intervals and maybe doing some independent, single independent strokes. Thank you very much.